Zan, broadcasting out to all my funky anarchist friends out there, to all my fellow survivors of the old world's greed. And if you're tuning in for the simulcast of tonight's show from the Da Da Cabaret, it's about to begin. To the Dada Cabaret. We got a brilliant show for you tonight. So let's get started with story time with Clovis. Allow me to tell you the tale of a time when capitalism caged the world and transformed us all into this. Look upon its hideousness. Stare at the meaningless consuming machine that we all had been brainwashed to become. From the moment we were dragged, kicking and screaming from the womb and forced to who would seek to slither back and plug us into their brain-dead profit machines. Well done, Clovis. Merci beaucoup. Strike the monster and set at the cobra pit for fearless Frank. Are you sure about this, Frank? Remember what happened last time? Yes, but... This jetpack is of my own design, fashioned out of simple household items. It should easily propel me high into the rafters, where I will then descend into the cobra pit. I will then make my escape by hypnotizing the snakes with this kazoo. It's foolproof. <gasps> Oi, Thomas. Yes, boss? Go entertain the crowd until the power comes back on. Ancient voices singing through your head With so many Who will never listen up there. Wheels up and we're looking for trouble. When troubles don't occur, our wheels are up. Wheels up, got your brass knuckle. Towns will crash your cooker, our wheels are up. Hi, Jackie. Hello, Emma. I see you're using my telescope again. Uh huh. I hope it's okay. Of course. <gasps> Are you going to the substation to find out what's wrong with the power? I am. Can I come too? Well, maybe it would be best. I'll be right down. before the collapse, right? Yes, but I was a small child. Is it true that people went hungry, even though there was more than enough for everyone? Yes. And everyone was okay with that? I wouldn't say that everybody was okay with it, but it was considered normal. It, it was normal? For people to not have enough to eat? I'm afraid so. I'm so grateful I was born into this world.
सब स्टेशन अ जैकी आर देर सपोज टू बी गार्ड्स नो एमा एंड आर द गेट्स सपोज टू बी चेन डेफिनेटली नॉट Excuse me, who gave you the authority to lock us out? God, as a woman, I'm busy dating people, trespassing, low-life people. Who are you? My name is Snout, and I have seized control of this substation. Why? Because as its owner, from here on out, if your settlement wants access to electricity, you'll have to pay me for it. But we don't use money. No money? No, Chris. What do you use to trade? Our economy is based on cooperation. Cooperation? <laughs> Impossible. People are lazy, selfish creatures that need to be coerced to follow the rules. But I don't know anyone like that. Of course you don't, Emma. But that was one of the many lies that men like him had us believing before the great collapse. Lies? What lies? That capitalism would make our lives better. that it would promote endless growth and prosperity that it would save us but instead we were exploited and abused things like dignity and truth made meaningless and in the end it destroyed the world uh yes i admit we let it get away from us but i'll get it right this time I promise with the state finally out of the way capitalism can exist in its purest form and it starts today here at Snout Industries I will transform your petty settlements into engines of mass production every single one of its inhabitants becoming cogs in my machine and i shall begin by making the electricity produced at this substation the commodity it deserves to be then your food your water your freedom everything and you will all pay me for it we won't then you'll live in the dark we will rise up against you then my guards will do what is necessary you would hurt us for money well, i don't want to hurt anyone but i have a right to protect my property and what about our right to live without the threat of violence there doesn't have to be any violence as long as we do as you demand yes i suppose that's right I never knew my mom. She died giving birth to me. Then, when I was 8 years old, my dad got lung cancer, and I had to watch as he wasted away to nothing. But then I was taken in by a nice couple, Nora and Maggie. I love astronomy, and I'm really good at math, and even though the kids at school kind of ignore me, life is good. Before he died, my dad told me my mom probably would have survived had I been born before the collapse. It's unfair. You took her away from me. And now you want to take away the only life I've ever known. Why? I don't want to take away your life, little one. I only want to make it better. But how can it be better when you threaten to hurt me? Don't you see, Snout? Emma knows nothing of the old world's greed, nothing of oppression or hunger. She's being raised in a community based on voluntary labor and mutual aid, where every decision is made by the community as a whole. Well, it can't be that simple. To be honest, it's not. It's complicated and at times challenging, but we make it work because what other choice do we have? Well, I'm sorry, Emma. I'll leave your community in peace. Thank you, Snout. Let's turn the power back on. Oi! About time. I just got so sad. The 
monster escaped? Let's keep this between ourselves. I'm sure you'll turn up. Eventually. <laughs> Oi! For tonight's last act, we have a special treat for you. Please welcome the Ready Maids featuring Delilah. Mr. Clovis. Merci, Cravette. Laughter. Tears. Curtain. 